Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to freeze multiple rows and or columns using freeze panes in Google Sheets. So here we have our sheet. The first thing that you have to do is to select the cell of the row and or column that you want to be frozen. So let's highlight the cell just so we have a guide. The purpose of selecting a cell is that it tells Google which part of the sheet you want frozen. What this means is that the first three rows in the first two columns can be frozen. Now the difference in Excel is that it only freezes the rows and columns before it. So if you're using Excel, only the first two rows and the first column will be frozen. All right, let's go back to the tutorial. Now that we have our cell selected, go to the top bar menu, hit view and select freeze. This new menu will open up and all you have to do is to select what part of your sheet will be frozen. And in our case, we want both rows and columns, including the cell that is selected to be frozen. So first we select up to current row, and then we select up to the current column. Okay, once you've done that, a gray bar will appear after the rows and columns that you've frozen, and you'll be able to scroll through the entire sheet without losing track of the markers. And there you have it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, and if you want to see more of these, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.